my name is Luca Steinman. I'm a freelance journalist that came from Europe, actually I'm based in Milan, Italy. And I came here in Syria where I'm spending 10 days to report about what's happening in Syria and to uh, say to the European readers and to, to the European public what's going on in Syria now. Uh, I've been uh, covering Damascus, I've been uh, to Palmyra and to Homs to see what's happening there and especially during the last days I've been uh, covering the suburbs of Damascus uh, especially the um, Palestinian refugee camps, uh, camp of Yarmouk where I've been on, on the front line even if uh, there, um, there are no uh, people there anymore, um, the camp is divided into three zones, one zone controlled by the government, one zone controlled by uh, the former uh, Al-Nusra group, and the third zone by Daesh group. And actually most people living there are the families of the fighters, and so uh, almost all the civilians left the area, which is uh, strongly damaged. And it was interesting uh, to go on the front line, even if they're not fighting, thanks God now, and to report how the different groups um, put fences in order to divide the, um, uh, the different area, the areas that they control, and to, um, to limit the actions of their, uh, the, the own snipers. So uh, I will make a documentary of, out of it. I will make, I will write many, many articles for for different media of different countries in Europe. I will publish pictures. I will publish videos, and I will, uh, of course, uh, tell what I've been seeing now in Syria during those days. Because what I've been seeing in Syria now is different uh, than uh, what is generally told in Europe. We have to say that in Europe we have also very correct medias that uh, report very honestly about what's happening. But uh, it's, uh, us it usually uh, can happen that people get a wrong perception of what's happening. Because what I will tell to Europe uh, about Syria is that what is happening here is not a civil war, it's not a civil conflict as many people think but it is an international conflict where many actors are playing on the ground uh, and are trying to influence uh, different uh, groups of fighters and take advantage of them. Um, according to the Syrian government, there are 175 nationalities registered among the fighters on both sides, on the side of the government and on the side of the revolution, if we, of, the, of the rebels, if we can call it this way. And uh, so uh, it means that it is not a national war, but it is an international war uh, in which many people from different countries are coming here to fight for something that is much more than uh, a, a local conflict. It is a regional conflict. We all know the, uh, the uh, rivalry between Shia and Sunnah that is uh, taking place on the uh, uh, Shiites and Sunnis that is taking place on this region. But especially, it is, it is an international war uh, in which also Europe is uh, strongly involved. Uh, because, of course, many, uh, like an important group of fighters that came here to join uh, some terrorist groups are coming from Europe and they are having difficulties in integrating themselves in the, Euro in the European uh, society, which is not very, very bound and, of course, it leaves many people alone. And for this reason, also for this reason, there are many people looking for new, strong identities and, uh, and uh, uh, joining these, uh, some criminals or terrorists or rebels group. And uh, for this reason, and uh, now uh, wishing, uh, like hoping uh, that the war will be over uh, soon in Syria, uh, well, uh, a big question for, you, for Europe will be, uh, where will these fighters go? Well, we expect that many of them will come back to Europe and uh, a big issue for our security in Europe will be uh, how will they behave when they will be again on our ground. Uh, so uh, this is saying what? This is saying that the Syrian issue is something that interests the West, interests Europe in a direct way. So it is the interest of the European governments, of the European people uh, to um, find our cooperation with the countries from the Mediterranean in order to, to face the security problem problems and in order to face the security link to mass migration which uh, these two are of course the big issues that are uh, happening in Europe now and mass migration is deeply changing some society European societies and deeply changing some cities and some some parts some some, some countries as well and um, the message I want to bring to Syria from Europe is this one um, please uh, think always that you have 
many people from your country that left it to go to Europe because uh, in this moment uh, they are in Europe and uh, generally they are, assist, uh, are assisted in a, in a very positive way from the European institutions, from, from, from the different national governments, but integration is not easy. And it is happening now in some countries, especially in Germany, that uh, while these people are waiting in refugee centers, are waiting and hoping for a better life, well, we have there some groups of uh, uh, of uh, Islamic uh, radical people that are going to them and trying uh, to uh, and telling them, you know, we have a, a common cul cultural background, a common Islamic Sunni background. Please join us. Uh, please join us in our radical communities. And this can be dangerous because this way, if many refugees will uh, join uh, radical Muslim communities, well, many people in Europe can think, oh. All the refugees are like this. All the Muslims are like this. And this is bringing to a clash of civilization, which we have to avoid. So please remember and make to your people remember that they always have a homeland, that they are welcome in Europe, but they, they don't have to forget where they're from and they, uh, where they belong to. And thank you for this, uh, to the Syrian National Agency for this interview.